And now, Phillipsburg Broadcasting proudly presents Good Morning, Mr. Governor, with Francis Cardi. Good morning, Mr. Governor. What's the real mission statement for NEPA? As we evaluate the conflict between the Ministry of Education and the present Board of Directors of the National Institute for Professional Advancement, the NEPA, it becomes obvious that the public is in dire need for greater clarification for the establishment of this post-secondary educational institution. Apparently, NEPA was established as a second chance post-secondary institution for those youngsters in our community who either dropped out of our secondary school system or for some reason or the other could not complete their requirements for completing their secondary education. Apparently, it was established as a catchment for those described youngsters to complete their secondary education by passing the globally accepted GED exams, move on with their life's ambition into a post-secondary professional school, or any tertiary educational system that they wish to attend. If this is the case, this fact must be communicated and confirmed to the public because people are not totally aware of the purpose of this institution. Its name is not consistent with its standards of delivery. And because of this misunderstanding, we are noticing that the School for Continuing Education and Lifelong Learning, the SCAL, is more readily accepted by many to meet skills that are required by island's employers. The quicker this misunderstanding is properly clarified, I believe the quicker we will be able to restore peace back into this segment of our educational system. Good morning, Mr. Governor. That was Good Morning, Mr. Governor by Francis Cardi.